Hi, welcome to ErgosoftTech.com. In this video, we'll be tackling printer linearization. The Ergosoft linearization procedure is an iterative process of printing and measuring two or three linearization charts in succession using the linearization wizard. After this process is complete, you will have defined how the printer should properly apply ink to a substrate and achieve desired tonality. Before the printer linearization process can begin, the measuring device, or spectrophotometer, that is to be used has to be plugged into the correct port of the computer. The measuring device needs to be detected and recognized by the software so it can be used to analyze the printer's tonality. To do this, choose Tools, then Options, then Preferences, Application, and Spectrophotometer. After having selected the correct spectrophotometer in the type field, you can detect it by using the detect button and thus make it available for use in the software. As soon as the measuring device has been correctly detected, you can leave the dialog again using the OK button. In the main program, choose tools, Linearization and Profile Tools, Density Linearization, or click the Density Linearization button under the Linearization and Profile Tools button in the Print Environment toolbar. The Initial Values section allows you to guess an expected behavior of the printer. Such estimates optimize the result of the first measurement, only use this for the first iteration. The Initial Values button offers three estimates. Choose the one that fits your printer best. Choose No Adjustment when you do not want to estimate the printer's behavior. When printing with 540 dpi or less, the estimate Standard Adjustment for Low Resolution is recommended. For 720 dpi or more, the estimate Standard adjustment for high resolution would be the best choice. The Geometry drop-down menu lets you set which correct chart should be used with your spectrophotometer. Now select the number of measurement patches per color channel that you wish to print. You can select a value from the list or enter any value manually. For the first iteration, around 16 to 24 patches per channel will do. Print the density linearization chart using the print button. In order to help you correctly identify which chart to measure, your Ergosoft RIF automatically generates a chart ID for each customized linearization. The chart ID is printed at the top of the target. Please ensure that it matches the chart ID listed here before measuring it. If you'll need to step away from the computer for a period of time before measuring the target, make sure you save the session by clicking Cancel, Save. After having printed the density linearization chart, relaunch the density linearization wizard. Now click the Measure button in the Prepare Linearization dialog to open the Manage Measurements dialog. Now select the chart and again click the Measure button. 
When prompted, click the Calibrate button to calibrate your spectrophotometer. Now measure the linearization chart. The upper segment, Next Measurement, displays the next row that is to be measured. Make sure you always measure the row that is displayed. The lower segment, Measurement Values, shows the progress of the measurement. After having measured the density chart, click the OK button to return to the Manage Measurements dialog. We strongly recommend saving the first measurement and starting a second measurement in this dialog. If you experience a high degree of measurement variation, you may want to measure your target a third time to minimize the variation. When having finished all measurements, click the OK button in the Manage Measurements dialog to calculate the average of all measurements and return to the Density Linearization Wizard. Now, the first iteration of the printer's tonal behavior has been established. The linearization needs to be saved. Click the Next button through the Linearization Wizard until you reach the Save dialog. To save the linearization, add notes in the description field of the Save dialog and complete the wizard by clicking the Finish button. The linearization will be automatically saved into the current print environment. Write the color chart ID in the description field so you can trace your steps if needed in the future. Relaunch the density linearization wizard. Setting the initial values again is not necessary since the estimated initial values have now been replaced by actual values from the first measurement. For the second iteration, you should increase your patches per channel to between 30 to 60 patches. Since I printed 24 patches in the first iteration, I'll double it to 48 in this step. Now print and measure the chart. In the Measurement Results dialog, you can analyze the measured values. 
The analysis of the printer's behavior is completed with this step. The dialog provides a graphic display of the measurement values displayed in a curve with each patch's density value. By using the drop-down menu Channel, you can select the color you wish to review. If the Auto Correction button appears, click it to automatically remove data points that may have been inaccurately measured or that may prove problematic to achieving the desired tonal response. Choose Auto Limit to automatically optimize the ink application for each color or manually select an ink limitation by selecting a point on the graph or selecting a patch from the list and then selecting Limit at Selected Patch. When choosing an ink limitation or ink restriction, Keep in mind that this process dictates the size of the color gamut the printer will be able to achieve. So don't restrict too much, but know that if too much ink is applied, over-inking artifacts like ink pooling, bleeding, coalescing, or poor ink adhesion may occur. It's usually a good idea to use the Auto Limit functionality and determine the patch in which the limitation will occur, then correlate that visually by looking at that patch on the printed chart. If you think that the limitation needs to be adjusted, just go ahead and manually change the ink limitation. Clicking the Next button will proceed to the Target Density Settings dialog, allowing you to further define the printer's desired behavior. In general, the use of the default settings is recommended. After having defined the desired behavior of the printer, we should now determine if the linearization process is successful by clicking the back button and then clicking compare measurement to target density. If all channels are on target, the linearization process is successful and we should complete the process by finishing this linearization session. If any one of the channels are not successfully on target, you should finish this second linearization session and prepare a third iteration. In this case, the magenta channel is not on target, so let's finish the session and print a third linearization iteration. After measuring the third linearization chart, click Compare Measurement to Target Density and review each color channel. If all channels are on target, the linearization process is successful and we should complete the process by finishing this linearization session. Now that the linearization process is complete, 
It is automatically saved in the correct print environment. Thanks for watching. For more tech tips and videos, check out ergosofttech.com.